Hey everybody, it's Blue Totem. Welcome back to Legends of Ocarina of Time. Now, let's head out of here, I guess, since we've just finished off the Forest Temple. And now, I actually want to head back... I actually want to head back to the Temple of Time now. So let's have a look at doing that, but of course Navi has something to say. That cloud over Death Mountain. There is something strange about it. Yes, there is. Well, I'm gonna save and quit now, so goodbye. Okay, well, now that we're back here, let's head back out again. And then head back in again. And then head back out again. And then head back in again. And then head back out again. Or just stay in here, you know. That would work too. Because if I go back up here... Now that we've done the forest temple. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. You have learned the Prelude of Light. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. And now, we have our second medallion as well, as our second sp special song, I guess. Also, we have 52 Skulltalers. That's pretty good. Considering that's about, about as many as we'll ever need. But anyway, let's put the sword back in the pedestal of time. Which allows us to travel back between Adult Link and Child Link. Which is actually good for us because there's a few things we can only do after becoming Adult Link that we need to do as Child Link. Which I believe we can do now. So let's go have a look at doing that. The first thing I want to take care of is on Zora River. So, going back up Zora River, I want to go back to the frogs, since we haven't actually seen them for a little bit. And we've completed the top row of songs, which is all we need to do to get all we need from them. So let's go say hello. Just need to get over there. Which is a little bit of work. Especially because we don't have a way to just teleport around up here. I guess you could teleport since... You could teleport to the forest. And then use the, the shortcut through the woods. But even then it's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, and speaking of that, and the teleport songs, since we now have the Prelude of Light. 
You can use the teleport songs as child link as well as adult link, so we need to keep that in mind because that's going to be very helpful. But anyway now, let's play the Song of Time. And that makes last frog big. Young lad, you play the ocarina well. Hmm, that melody is so fine, Ribbit. We should practice it, Ribbit. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it, Ribbit, Ribbit. So there we got another purple rupee. Let's pull out our ocarina again. And let's play the last song that we haven't actually played for them. Which is... what's it called? Song of Storms. Since we can only get that after we become an adult. Wow, that melody is so cool, Ribbit. Singing in the rain. Oh, what a feeling. Ribbit. Please, take this as a token of our fro froggish gratitude, Ribbit. Alright, see you, Ribbit. And get a piece of heart. But since we played all the songs for them. Look at us, we're all huge frogs. We are the world famous fabulous five frogish tenors, Ribbit. Make us jump so we can eat the bugs flying above us, Ribbit. Okay then, ready, set, go. Nope, wrong one. So basically we have to press the buttons to follow along with the butterflies above their heads, which is... N it, it's not too difficult, but you have to keep in track of everything. The blue frog in front is the A button, uh, and then the... the purplish frog on the left is the left, red frog is right, yellow frog is down, white greyish frog is up. Just keep that in mind. Okay, let's go. And if you have- if you're too slow to get the frog to jump, it will just cancel out and stop, so... It's a- it's a memory thing. Nope, wrong one. It may take a couple of tries. I'll put the- the thing on screen. There we go. Young boy, you did great. Perfect. We are stuffed, Rubit. Also, you never press up for some reason. It's just A, left, right, down, left, right, down, A, down, A, down, right, left, A, left, I think? If I haven't already forgotten. Also, I forgot to read the text, it's fine. We should take this token of our gratitude. And for that, we get another piece of heart, which gives us another completed heart container. There we go. That's all the frog songs done. Let's go. It, it, it doesn't take too long. It like, f maybe, maybe four minutes, three, no, two or three minutes, maybe, I don't know. It depends on how good your memory is. Mine, mine's terrible and it only took me a couple minutes, so. But anyway, that's everything here. Let's probably, hang on, I'm doing it wrong. Let's head back to the Temple of Time and become an adult again. Which I should easily be able to do because I can do this. Play the Prelude of Light, Warp to the Temple of Time. I love the way that the Warp songs work as well. Okay, so now that we're an adult again, also you can only use uh, Young Link items when we go back to being a Young Link. 
So we can't use the hook shot or the bow whenever we go back in time. Or the master sword. But anyway. It's, it's, it's basically the same thing as how we couldn't use, can't use young Link items when we're adult Link, so. But anyway, let's go take a look at what that cloud above Death Mountain is doing, since Navi's pointed that out to us already. Ah, uh, but also, while we're here, let's head back up to Ganon's castle, because there's actually something we can kind of do here. Kind of. So, let's go all the way over this way to the gate that's been completely destroyed and is very far away from where it should be, or where it used to be at the very least. Unless the path's changed, that's always also possible. But over here is a gold Skulltula. Let's grab that. Just like that. Now if I'm not crazy, which I think I am, I should leave. Okay. That cloud of a death mountain, and there's something strange about it. Thank you. Your Navi reminds you what to do if you ever get lost. Don't even need to worry about it. Also, the other thing that I noticed is I don't think there's a, a bomb chew shop in the future, possibly. I could be wrong just because I'm not going into any of the extra buildings. But I'm pretty sure there isn't, so... I guess we can also head over to Kakariko now as well. Since we also have 50 Skulltulas now. 50-something Skulltulas. Have quite a few of them. Which you only ever need 50 Skulltulas. Because the next reward after 50 Skulltulas is 100 Skulltulas. Which we are only halfway to. And that is only... That's, it's not even, it's not really that worth it at all, especially because you need to have all the other sculptors to get it, which is probably meaning that you're going to have everything you'll probably need anyway by that point. Let's go talk to the next brother of the sculptor. Most of them are happy. The curse has been broken! Thank you, here's a reward for you. And we get... a piece of heart. On our way to the next heart container already. So making it daytime again, there's one building that... Uh, also moved, kind of. That we should also go check out, since that's actually gonna have another reward for us, so... Let's head on in, and guess what? The shooting gallery's here! My favorite thing! Do you want to play a game? It's 20 rupees per play. That's a good thing I've got so many rupees for this. Okay, this is a game for grown-ups. Hyrule's famous shooting gallery. Take aim at the targets from that platform over there. Can you hit 10 targets? You get 15 shots. Draw your weapon with B. Are you ready? Go for a perfect score. Good luck. We get to do this again, except it should be somewhat easier since we're using the bow now, but also it's all randomized, which or it's it's all of the the all of the rupees that come out are different from what they were in the slingshot version. I'm pretty sure I do get an extra free try though. The slingshot is a lot slower than the bow, I guess. Almost. Well, Alright, I'll let you try one more time, for free. This time you gotta do it. Because I feel like if you sh whenever you shoot the bow, it just instantly shoots forward. It is randomized. Okay. I thought it was just different, but no, it's just random. Which things come out when. This is going well. This is going well. Oh, don't, 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 no. Why me? Why? Why am I so bad at this minigame? 
I don't know. Okay. Try again. Oh, please. Thank you. Oh. This, the, this control stick is not a great control stick. Oh, not again, not again, not again, no! Ah! This control stick is not sensitive enough. Or too sensitive. It's one or the other, it can't be either or. Oh my goodness, please. Please. Oh my goodness, I missed three, but I think that's enough. No. Do you want to tr play again? Yes, I do. Oh my goodness. This minigame. With this control stick. I would imagine this would be better with... Switch controls, probably. With a pro controller or something. Oh, please, thank you. Got it. I'm so glad that they hit that hitbox somehow. Same with that one. I don't know how this is happening right now. I got it! Wonderful! Bravo! Perfect! Don't have to do this again. Here's a fantastic present. And we get an upgrade to our quiver, to a big quiver, which is now silver instead of bronze. You get the idea. Now you can carry more arrows, 40 in total. Very nice. And I don't think there's any more rewards to get here, so let's leave. Okay. And now we can go up Death Mountain. <laughs> After all this time, we can do it. Also, here's the guy who can you can sell stuff to. Which I guess I could sell bugs to. But I kind of want to hold onto my bugs for the moment. Which is a strange decision. I'm sure. Since we can't do any of the soft soil with bugs in the future. All has to be in the past when we do it. But anyway. There are still Tektites here in Death Mountain Trail. But there are a whole bunch of rocks that we can't break. And also, rolling down the hill is this gigantic boulder that we need to dodge, because it'll do that. And it'll, they'll keep spawning in as well, so need to be careful of that. Now, as previously mentioned, there is this uh, bean plant that we planted that is help, helps you get to that heart piece of there. It also helps you over here, but it also takes you up to the top of the mountain, which I do not want to do right now. So let's stay down here and go over this way. Also, this hole here, which of course there's a hole. Oh my goodness, I just remembered something. That's fine. Hang on. I'll come back for that. Uh, let's play Song of Storms here to reveal this hole. In the middle of this rocks. Just a regular chest, but you know. I have to point out everything after I've played a randomizer once. Every single thing. Also, this is a huge rupee worth 200 rupees. I just waste a lot of rupees, and I, I don't even care about it. Just gonna keep moving. Just keep that there if you need it for later. Now, Goron City is looking pretty empty. There's only one Goron visible to us. So let's get out some bomb chews and see if we can bomb it. Because, you know, there's one remaining in, in their species, I guess, or something. I don't know. Oh my goodness. This one's a little bit annoying, though, because whenever it gets too close to me, it rolls away. You can also use the bomb flowers here if you need to, which is good. Thank you. Got it. How could you do this to me? You, your Ganondorf servant. Hear my name and tremble. I am Link, hero of the Gorons. Um, actually, I'm Link. Who are you? Also, I can hear that. What? Your name is also Link? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and Hero Link. My dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? 
Dad named me Link after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name. I really like it. Link, you're a hero to us Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend Link of the Gorons. Oh. I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everybody. Help everyone. My dad Darunia went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. <laughs> You'd better try to calm him down if you can. Maybe he'll calm down if you talk to him. What do you want to ask him? About the dragon? A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvagia living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, boom, destroyed it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know because my dad is a descendant of the hero. Boo-hoo. You'd better try to come- yeah, we know. Ask about the Gorons. Everyone, everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia. Dad said that Ganondorf has uh, revived Volvagia. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to free feed the malt of Volvagia. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try and save everyone. Please help, Link. I'll give you this heat-resistant tunic. You got a Goron tunic. This heat-resistant tunic it, uh, is adult size, so it won't fit a kid. Going to a hot place? Don't worry. And those two doors open up, which is good for us. And the Goron shop actually sells a Goron tunic for quite a few rupees probably but if we just get link the goron to give it to us we get it for free so now I also want this sculptor up there if I can reach it from here I would normally go up there and hit it with my sword and then ledge grab down to it but I'm just gonna try and get it from here because I think it's gonna work out better for me instead of going back up well so we can just pull ourselves to it like that as well and now we're flying. But anyway, I think that's everything in here, maybe. There might be one other thing we can do, though. So let me go up here a little bit more. Back to the floor with Link the Goron. Because if I'm not mistaken, there was somebody who said that they needed seven years to work on something that was going to be big. And now... If we go down this path here, even though he said that all the Gorons were taken, I don't think they can fit this one out of here. Yep, hello. I just completed a small weapon. How about it? How about buying this knife for 200 rupees? Sure, why not? I have rupees. We get the giant's knife, which is even stronger than the Master Sword or Deku Sticks. Hold it with both hands and use B to attack. It's so long, you can't use it with a shield. So we can't use it with a shield, and it is strong, but the downside to it, other than, you know, not being able to use a shield with it at the same time, is also that it breaks if you hit something solid with it, so we can't use it too much, otherwise it will just be gone forever. Basically, I think we can actually buy a new one, though, from him for 200 rupees, but that's a lot of rupees to spend on something that's going to break. So I wouldn't even re recommend buying it from him at all. So anyway, let's head on this way, into this chamber over here, because we need to go to Death Mountain Crater, but if we pull this statue forward and go into this hole back here, we actually end up in Death Mountain Crater, and because we're wearing the Grand Tunic, there is no timer counting down. This only works as an adult, though, so... There's also some rocks over here blocking us from getting back up this way, but I think I can actually roll past this and go up anyway. Which is not what I'm supposed to do, which is probably a bad decision to go up this way. 
We can see that piece of heart there though, and it's it's tempting me, but I don't think I can actually get it right now. Unless I possibly break something in a weird way. Anyway. Oh, I guess if I bomb jumped over there, except I don't know how to do that. Ah, uh, there's also this crack up here that we could have had a look at last time when we were here when we were Child Link. But I decided not to, which I think is just a gossip stone. Anyway. Also, if we fall into the lava here, it takes us back to the last entrance we came through, so works well for me. Now, let's hook shot across here, if I can aim properly. There we go. It is something that grows over time. A true friendship, a feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power and through it, you will know which way to go. This is this song is dedicated to the so, to the power of the heart. Listen to the Bolero Fire. You have learned the Bolero Fire. Link, I'll see you again. I knew I shouldn't have been standing on a wooden bridge in the middle of a volcano. Oh, it's fine. Anyway, enough of that. We can now teleport here with the Blair of Fire. Which means I can actually go back to the Temple of Time and do other stuff and then come back here. Which is actually probably a good idea, so let's do that. I like Link's gloves like things when he's an adult. Also, I don't think wearing a tunic changes how much damage you take from enemies. But anyway, let's become a child again. And there are a few things I want to do as a child, Link. So, starting off, I actually want to head out of the Temple of Time the normal way and actually head up to Hyrule Castle now. Which also seems like a strange decision. But I don't want to go all the way up Hyrule Castle to the Castle Courtyard area. Okay, so once we're in the moat, we're basically where we need to be. We just need to go out of the water here next to this tree. If I can, please. Thank you. And now, we need to play the Song of Storms. Because right here is a grotto. Very easy to miss this one. Extremely easy. And we can hear a couple of Sculptors in here. Uh, but I believe only one Sculptor is actually what we need. Because it's a gold sculptor. I don't know if I can kill anything through the f walls I need to blow up, but I'm gonna try. It sounds like it worked. Oh my goodness. Also, the walls blend in very well with the bombable walls. But anyway, let's blow up all of that. Some bugs, gossip stone. And it's there. Of course, it's the third one that I opened and last one that I checked. But there we go. That's everything there. And now, that we've done that, let's get out our uh, Ocarina of Time again. And let's go ahead and play the Blur of Fire. And go directly into Death Mountain Crater.
Link, it's hot in here. We can't stay here for long. That's true. That's very true. But there is soft soil right here. There's also uh, some rocks stopping us from going any further from here. So let's open this bottle up and drop that there. I'm also going to grab one of those back if I can, please. Thank you. And let's place a bean. So there we go. Gold Skulltula and bean plant for when we come back here in just a second. And speaking of coming back here in just a second, let's do that. Also, whatever items you have equipped on the C buttons will stay selected like that whenever you change back uh, into whatever form you had them equipped to. So whenever we come back to being Child Link, we'll still have these items equipped. And whatever we, uh, items we equip as uh, Adult Link, whenever we t return to being Adult Link after being Child Link, we'll have those items equipped again. It's quite helpful to have those. Have, have that all in mind. Especially because if you don't keep that in mind, then you'll swap your items as Adult Link being ready for Child Link stuff, and then having to set it all again. Which, is, which can be annoying. It also includes what tunic you put on. But anyway, back in Death Mountain Creature as an adult, now that we've planted that bean, there's a bean plant here, obviously. So now we can actually get up onto this little pillar here, which we also want to keep in mind that there are two of these, two of these pillars here. For us to go forward, but we can get this piece of heart here that we couldn't get because it was out of the way. But there we go. And now, let's head down. And over this way. All the way down. We'll also use our sword to kind of push ourselves back a little bit. Not that much, but anyway. Go all the way down here into... The fire temple. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.